will be our host for what should be a great game between Philadelphia and New York. And now to Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth for the game. Tom? With a beautiful day in the forecast, we'll get ready for today's game. Hi everyone, Tom Hammond here along with Chris Collinsworth. Let me tell you something, these two rivals have no love for each other, Chris. We've got a great game on tap. Both these teams seem to always perform so well against each other. I expect to see the same thing today. The kicker looks ready to get this one started. We'll head down to the field for the opening kickoff. And this game is now underway. Caught at the eight. Brought down at the 31. Their offense will step onto the field for the first time, hoping to come away with some points on this possession. They'll get the ball here at the 31. First down, 10 to go. changes the play. McNabb will hand it off. He fights forward to about the 33. Gain of two. Well, that was the perfect time for them to call a blitz. They got in there, filled up all the gaps, brought down the running back for a short game. They line up at the 33. Out of the shotgun. The Giants give a little cushion. He drops back to pass. He's dropped around the 37-yard line. The screen went for a gain of four. Third down, four yards to go here. The Eagles come out with four wide receivers, the quarterback in the shotgun. Now he's scrambling. The pocket is collapsing. He's pushed out right around the 46-yard line. Looks like the containment just broke down on that one, and they end up giving up the first. Defense is all about gap control. All you have to do is maintain your one gap. If one guy blows it, you can give up a big play like that. Back to throw. Scans the field. That was an excellent play by the defensive end. Man, that guy has a great jump off the ball. In the league now, we are seeing some of the best athletes in all of football playing the defensive end position. And if you can't get them blocked, you're going to have to start thinking about chipping them with a the back or putting a tight end over there. They'll go with the run once again. The running back picks up a yard on that counter. So another third down attempt for the offense. Third and long coming up. He's looking to throw. Throws it out. They finally knock him out at the 38. He gunned that one in there for the first down, didn't he? He really did. And when you watch a guy throw a ball that hard, 
They don't move their arm any faster. You see them driving off that back leg. That was a pretty pass. McNabb lines up under center. Two tight ends this time. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. The Eagles come out in a two tight end set. Philadelphia using an audible. They'll go with the run once again. He makes his way to about the 15. Just a phenomenal run. Woo! Not often you see that kind of speed in the NFL. Get out there, get it up the field, and when he gets in the open field, look out. This will be their first snap inside the 20 today. Straight ahead with a fullback. He fights forward to about the 13. One yard gain on the play. That brings up second down. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. The offense will line this one up with three running backs in the backfield. He scrambles around. McNabb will be sacked. The cornerbacks came out of nowhere. I really love those corner blitzes. Not only do you shake up the quarterback and his reads, but you also get maybe one of the fastest guys on the field coming off the corner, and man, can they get to a quarterback in a hurry. Here's the 11th play of the drive. The defense come out with five defensive backs this time. The Eagles changing their play at the line. Drops back to pass. Throws off his back foot. Jackson was the intended target on that incomplete pass attempt. Fourth down, and the kicker on to try this 39-yarder. Akers can put his team on the board first with this kick. It's good. He put that one right through the upright. Here's a quick look at the drive summary. Philadelphia is ready to kick this one off. Ross and Hickson are back deep to field this kick. The kick. He'll return it from the three. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. And now we'll see if they can answer back with a scoring drive of their own. All right, they just came up with a field goal. Let's see what this offense can do. Come out, be aggressive. Let's get some points on the board. Manning lines up under center. Single back backfield. Jacobs on the handoff. He makes his way to about the 38. A 10-yard gain. That'll bring up second down. Second down and very short coming up. The Eagles bring in the nickel package. He'll get it again. He's brought down at the 40. And that was just enough for the first down. Yeah, he really didn't have an opportunity to break that one, but at least he was able to get enough for the first down and move the chase. The Eagles have a lot of standouts on defense. Let's take a look. He doesn't get back to the line. They go to their hurry-up offense. Philadelphia makes an adjustment on defense. Still a lot of time left, but at the end of one, the score is 3-0. Tell your line to protect here. Tell your line to protect every play, not just here. You need to get some time back there and let someone get open. Second down and a long 12. Let's go, keep playing. Cut. 
Another run. Tackled at the 40. Jacobs, with the carry. Jacobs gains about two yards on the run. Changes this one at the line. He drops back to pass. Rolls right. Bats it away. And it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. Just terrific play by the defense. They followed the quarterback's eyes, made a quick jump on the ball, and we're all over that one. It's fourth down. They'll line up to punt this one away. The Eagles have everyone on the line. Looks like they're coming after this one. It's away, and it's a booming punt from the 15. Brought down at the 25. What happened to the coverage there, Chris? Oh, come on. They completely lost containment on that guy. I mean, you just can't let that happen. I'll be honest. They were really lucky they didn't give up a touchdown on that one. McNabb with four wide receivers. Drops back to pass. Rifles it right. He's brought down around the 40-yard line. And a great pass by the quarterback to convert for the first. And what we're seeing out of this quarterback is a variety of throws. Yes, he has the ability to zip it in there when he needs to, but we've also seen some touch throws, a very complete repertoire. Balls and audible. He looks to throw on first down. He's dropped at about the 45-yard line. Just a short, efficient throw that time. Yeah, a true sign of patience on the offensive side. You let the play develop. You find uh, the open receiver. Maybe he takes a look down the field. It's not there. Just go ahead and take that safe throw. So second down now. The offense needs about four for the first. New York moves in tight on the coverage. Still moving. Defense pushes him out of bounds about the 43-yard line. And he ran out of room on that one. Good play by the defense, but I really don't like to see a running back that just runs out of bounds. At the very least, you ought to be a little angry that the play is being disrupted like that by the defense. Put your head and shoulder down, see what you can get. Looks like the defense might have been a little too aggressive there. Here's the call. Pass interference. Defense. So with that penalty, they'll First move down. the chain. Oh, and that's so painful for a defense to make a stop, get the ball back for your offense, and just a silly penalty is going to give it right back to them with a first down. Westbrook left side. He's brought down around the 36-yard line. Westbrook gains around six yards on the run. Second and four coming up here. The Giants are up tight on the receivers. Smith comes in motion. The halfback with the carry. Maybe got a couple of yards, but that's about it. And Tom, that was because the defense filled up all the gaps. The back was looking for somewhere to run, but by bringing the run blitz, they took away all the holes and stopped them for a minimal gain. Third down now, they'll need a couple of yards to convert for a first down. Two minutes to go in the half.
The Eagles line up in the shotgun. Five wide receivers are split out. They'll throw for the first. Here's the pass. It's picked off. What an interception by the cornerback. You know, some of these corners are just freakish athletes right now. Oftentimes, they're the best athletes on the field. Maybe they don't have the skill set, great hands, great moves, whatever, but they are definitely among the fastest in the NFL. First down, looking to throw. Steps out at about the 41. Short completion there, but doesn't give them much in terms of yardage that time. Well, the defense forced them to make the quick read and throw on that one. The catch was made, but there wasn't much yardage to go along with it. It's up to the receiver to make something happen on a play like that. Second down and eight. Ball on their own 42. They'll work from the shotgun. Back to throw. He rolls right. Tips it away. Oh my, the quarterback is lucky that one wasn't intercepted. Yeah, you try and fit some of those into some tight holes, and every once in a while, you're going to get one pick. But that was a pretty good play by the defense. Third and eight now. Ball on the 42. The defense comes up tight on the coverage. There's a play fake. He throws on the run. Dropped an easy one. And it's batted away at the last minute by the defender. Just when it looked like the quarterback might sneak that one in there, a late pass defense and a good play. Fourth down. Looks like they'll kick it away here. Jackson is back deep to return the punt. Gets the punt away. He fields it at the 17. Tackled right around the 28-yard line. That guy just showed off some pretty good skills on that return. I thought for sure he was taking that one back to the house. You know, anytime you get a guy with that kind of skill level in the open field with a little room to run, good things are going to happen. He looks to throw on first down. He's going to be tackled for a loss. Loses a yard on that completion. That'll make it second down. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 27. He's dropped around the 33-yard line. Westbrook gains about five yards on the run. We've got a third and six. Ball on the 33-yard line. McNabb lines up in the shotgun. Five wide. McNabb takes it back. Surveys the field. Brought down at about the 41. The Eagles just took their first time out. First and 10. Ball on the 42-yard line. McNabb lines up in the shotgun. He has five receivers in the formation. Drops back on first down. And they get to him. That was a great job by the corner to get him on the blitz. If a quarterback's really good, he can anticipate that corner blitz because he sees the coverage shift over to that side. Obviously, you can't blitz a corner and leave the guy open without shifting the coverage. That time, the quarterback had no idea. Johnson intercepts it. He's in, touchdown, and the safety made a really nice play on the ball to grab that interception. You know, this safety is known for his big hits, but that time it was his soft hands that made the difference.
And they line up for the extra point. And the point after is good. New York holds a four-point lead. Gets a good kick here. They get him at the 29-yard line. And we've come to halftime here. The score is 7-3. Well, it's been a tight game. Neither team can seem to get any separation. Here's a few clips on how good this one has been so far. The kick. He'll return it from the four-yard line. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you that this game is brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. Be patient. You got to make sure that you wait for your blockers to set up this one. Don't try and do it all on your own. Jacobs, the ball carrier. He fights forward to about the 29. Jacobs gains about two yards on the run. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 29. New York goes with the ace set here. He lost yardage on the play. No one picked up the linebacker, and it cost them. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. Looking for a receiver. Gets the pass away. Comes down with it. Knocked out at the 39-yard line. On third and long, they get the first down, but it was close. That's just great offense right there. Anytime you have a third and long situation and you can execute a play like that for a first down, I don't care how close it is, it is still first and 10. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Trust your big guys to open some lanes out there. Watch for the defenders to get blocked and then run for the gap. Offset eye formation in the backfield. They go with the run. And he's depleted at the 47-yard line. Four-yard gain by the back. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Only one man back. They give it to the tailback. And they get him at the 49-yard line. Well, they tried to keep it on the ground for the first down. But not against this defense. You know, the way the rules are these days, that if you don't have confidence to throw the ball in that situation, you probably don't have much confidence in your quarterback. Kind of surprising here that they didn't elect to punt. I don't agree with this call. Just simply power football there converting on fourth down. I love watching those fourth down plays. It's just big guys against big guys and you know what's at stake and one team comes out on top and it feels good. Manning looking to pass. Rolling right. Rifles it left. Makes the catch. Tackled at the 31. A good amount of yards that time on the pass. And running backs who are good receivers are pretty rare you know a lot of times those guys they come out and they're good running the football but they don't make the kind of plays in the passing game this guy can clearly do both brought down around the 16 yard line and it's the tailback with a big catch 
And tailbacks love that. Anytime they can get into the open field, think about that position. You're constantly pounding the ball inside and getting hit by those big linebackers. Now you get out in open space and you have a chance to make a play. Didn't get much, and that will bring up second down. We've got second and nine here. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. What can they do to slow his pursuit down? So many times it's up to that backside blocker to get his guy on the ground, and it sounds ugly, but typically those guys are chopping at their knees and trying to knock them off their feet so there's some cutback lanes. Manning is looking to stay perfect on this drive, and the defense has a heavy rush. Manning gets sacked. Time to break down that play using EA Sports. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Kind of surprising here that they didn't elect to punt. I don't agree with this call. Manning has completed every pass on this drive. Hanson gets his hand on it. The offense will start at the 34-yard line. It's first and ten. changes the play. Drops back on first down. He's tackled right around the 46-yard line. You know, Donovan McNabb is really becoming much more of the classic drop back passer. Early in his career, he was a tremendous runner, wanted to get out. But now more and more, you're seeing him reading the defenses, making the clever little throws, and is so difficult to defend for a defense because he can still come busting out of there on the run. He's looking to throw. He's there for the catch, and they get him at the 39-yard line. I think Donovan McNabb can just make you look so bad at times. You know he has the quick release, he gets the thing out of there, sometimes he takes off with a, with a run and makes you play sort of a spy situation against him, but then you forget how big an arm he really has. He has the ability to get the ball as far downfield as anybody in this league. First and ten. The defensive backs move in closer. He looks to throw on first down. Almost picked. A great play by the defense to knock the ball away. And these defenders have been close all day. You better be careful if you're the quarterback. One of those is going to turn into an interception. Westbrook lines up as the deep back. I formation. There's a play fake. Makes the grab. The defense was coming with a heat on that play. But you never know it if you were watching the quarterback. He stood in there strong, completely relaxed, and made that defense pay that time. Westbrook gets the carry. He's dropped at the 25. He barely got it past the line of scrimmage that time. That brings up second down. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 25. Philadelphia lines up in the offset eye this time. He's looking to throw. He catches another. He's brought down at about the 13-yard line. And a big catch by the tight end. And I can tell you this, there's nothing the defensive backs hate more than to have one of those big tight ends in the open field running right towards them. First down, looking to throw. Tipped pass. Jackson was the intended receiver, but they can't complete the pass. 
Offset I formation in the backfield. Again, he'll get the call. The defense got the job done on that one. Really impressive play that time by this defensive line. It wasn't just one guy, but every guy up front just dominating their guy at the point of attack. The defense has him surrounded. Touchdown, and that puts them on top. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. Set down, the kick is up, and now we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. The kick. Ross has it at the five. Brought down at the 27. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll start at the 27-yard line, first and 10, single back formation. Nice play fake. Has a man deep, here's the throw. Brought down at about the 45-yard line. What a throw. You know, we don't often talk about this guy's arm strength, but he got that one out there pretty good. Friday, Friday, Friday. Changes this one at the line. Back to throw. Not much time to throw. Dumps it out right. And they get him at the 33-yard line. These days, you need a back who has good hands. Yeah, running backs today have to be really complete players. You mentioned the fact they have to be able to catch the football and make plays on the outside, but blocking is so key as well. You have to be able to do it all if you're going to be playing halfback in the NFL. Number 89. The quarterback just rifled that one in there for a good game. Everybody knows about this guy's arm strength, and if you wanted to see an example of it, right there it was. Jacobs gets the carry. Finally make the tackle, and it will be first and goal. After that run, they might want to give him the ball a few more times. I agree. It looks like the defense is a little tired out there. Whatever the case, they're having a tough time now stopping the run. He's in. Touchdown, and they take the lead. And that now puts them up by three points. And as long as they can convert this extra point, they'll have a four-point lead, and it'll take a touchdown to beat them from here. And we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. Kicks this one deep. He'll take it from the two. He's hammered at the 29-yard line. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. Five five. Five five. Drops back on first down with the catch. Tackled at the 48-yard line. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. McNabb back in the shotgun. The defense comes up tight on the coverage. Looks to pass. He passes short. Bats it away. What a play by the defender. And the quarterback really caught a break on that one that that wasn't intercepted. McNabb lines up in the gun. He has three receivers in the formation. Drops back to pass. Is there for the catch. McMahon. The defense was right there for the stop on the play. Not much of a gain at all. Yeah, let's give a little credit to the coaching staff on that play. You, you talk all the time about film study and preparation and knowing what the other team is trying to do to you. That time the defense was all over. 
Pretty obvious passing down here. The offense facing a third and long situation that they need to convert. Drops back. He throws left. Brings it in. Knocked out of bounds at the 45. That completion was almost enough for the first. Yeah, but he just couldn't get it past the marker. Pretty good looking play that time. Able to get it close to the first down, which brings up a good fourth down decision. I think they'll go for it here. He drops back to pass. Throws it short. And it's caught. Stiff arms, and the defender still makes the tackle. They almost stopped them on fourth, but it'll be a first down. And that's exciting football right there. I didn't know if he had it or not, but picked up just enough to keep this drive alive. Back to throw. Looking for an open man. Just playing right off his hand. And the defender breaks up the play. Just great position that time on the defensive side. The receiver really never had a chance on that one. Back to pass. Rockets it out. And he's drilled at the 32-yard line. He's been busy on this drive. That's his third grab on this series. And this is a little hard to explain, but I really think that you see receivers begin to get comfortable after they make their first catch and get hit. But any time in a drive that you catch multiple balls, you just get into a rhythm like a putter or like a quarterback throwing the ball or a pitcher. It's something that's a part of sports that's kind of hard to explain. Looks to pass. Looks down the field. He's going to take off. Looking good out there. With a two-score lead and the ball in your possession, this one might be in the books already. Jacobs, the ball carrier. He's dropped around the 45-yard line. That was an excellent run there to pick up the first. Yes, sir. He really found a nice hole, was able to exploit it for a good gain. They're going to have to do a better job getting in those running lanes if they're going to stop him consistently. And they get him at the 45. Maybe a yard on the run by the halfback. They'll face second down and 10. Ball on their own 45. Offset eye formation in the backfield. Here's the halfback. He's tackled at about the 47 yard line. That's a seven yard gain and that makes it third down. New York changing their play. The Giants line up with an offset eye backfield. Drops back to pass. Here's the deep throw. He's brought down right around the 10-yard line. And this was a good one. Our final score is the Giants, 14, the Eagles, 10. Thanks, guys. This was a close one throughout. Here's a look at a few key plays as we wrap this one up. Thanks again for joining us for this EA Sports matchup. For Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth, I'm John Madden saying so long.